So the art of matching Asian flavours sparkling wine depends on the level of chilli and the level of oil. The, the two, chilli and oil, will create carry. So how much of which ingredient did you use, please? I've paired back on the chilli because sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant with putting chilli in a dish because I sometimes feel that the heat overrides the food. So I've pulled back on the chilli and I've increased the sesame. So, so the, there's more sort of mellow, sort of subtle bit. And you can, you can smell the can sesame smell. from yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it, it smells very enticing. Um, chili does not work really very well with sparkling wine because it's so intense, it overrides the flavours. So you need your chili content to be a feeling rather than a flavour, like a subtle, there's got to be a subtlety to it. I'm guessing rosé for this and, and the Chandon um, method ancestral would be, is going to be my guess because it's riper and fuller and more generous. And as the generalisation goes, most Asian food does very well with Australian wine compared to the more acid and austere wines of Europe. So you've got a situation where we've just got abundant flavour and so is Asian food, and so the synergies are easier to find. But it might be that their vintage brook can work. This is 2016, so it's going to be a test to see. But you, you can read a recipe and come to some conclusions about which would go best. So for this pairing, I've decided to uh, create a wonton cup filled with a Vietnamese chicken salad. Living in Australia, I think we have to include something Asian. Delicate hand of the shit. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers.